Hi guys, we're looking crazy. Ah, so it's my second day at home. I'm feeling under the weather as is the whole world. I feel like everyone on Instagram all over the world is sick. Everyone in my entourage in the city. Anyways, it's also because we're leaving winter and we're entering spring and there's fluctuations of temperatures. So I feel like that is affecting all of us for sure. Making a coffee. Have shoot ton of water. I don't want to swear. I just had my honey. So I have honey that's like from the mountains here in Montreal, Canada. Not in Montreal, but in Canada. And it's um, from the mountains and it's apparently it's really high in antioxidants. So I have that when I feel under the weather. I'm realizing by doing this, I need to do my skincare. And I feel like doing my skincare. So I'm having my coffee. Oops, oops. I love this type of content because I can be like slower. On Instagram, I have to be like bam, bam, bam. And I'm getting good at like doing a pitch in four stories because you have four stories, then it cuts off. So you gotta be to the point. So I just did yoga by Boho Beautiful. That was insane. It was a, oh, that's my mop. And oh my God, I had the energy to clean all my floors. It changes everything. Who did the floors? Look so pretty. I have to put that away but i did my floors uh like the kitchen area and the dining room i did because i was motivated to do that so th i took that on and now i feel better because i felt like the baby crawls everywhere and i feel like i want it to be really 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 clean how am i hoping my nice job then we did yoga immune system detox yoga by boho beautiful i'll tag it underneath because oh my god that was insanely good we do a fire breath in it so it's like a fire breath helps you stimulate your immune system we're doing laundry that's, that's something i have to finish before going to my room and then i'm not feeling well so instead of sitting down at a desk at my desk and doing work i'm setting up my whole guest room has like a little station i'm gonna show you guys because it's funny and it's gonna be a station to work a station to do my laundry and my folding so when i'm home i like to like mix work and home stuff because i can't not like it's in my face if i was at the office i wouldn't do it because they wouldn't see it or if i was with a client at a client meeting but i'm here so i'm doing it i have to do it if not it makes me go crazy and i feel like i keep thinking about it so hanging up laundry while i talk to you guys uh, yeah so what was i saying yeah i'm gonna do everything from my bed my guest bed not my room because my room is for sleep so i'm not gonna mix that that's not that's really not advice to mix your sleep environment like sleep your room is for sleep and sex okay keep it that way and relaxation and reading so that you actually are able to switch off when you're there. It's a cue for you. But if you make it about other stuff, like if you start working from bed and all of that, then it's gonna mix up your brain and your sleep signals. We're like babies, okay? We have sleep signals too. So I'm all I'm gonna do my work from bed. Sorry, I'm like hanging this up at the same time. Multitasking, okay? We got to stay busy. And I'm gonna try to edit my vlog today that I had to post that is the vlog number 11 so this will be number 12 i don't know if i'm starting it but if i'm starting it hello how are you maybe i'm starting it i'm not sure Whew. i don't know why i like putting my clothes in front of the windows i don't know if it does anything okay so that's done we got our coffee we got our water and we are ready to Okay, so I set up my guest room so I can do everything. So my coffee and water is over there. My backpack for work stuff. My agenda so I can plan out my day. Work papers. Let's plug in the computer. And I also want to finish the folding. So the folding is here. And that's where I'm going to chill for the whole day. Voila. Going on vacation? Hi guys, 
so we're on vacation welcome to this week's vlog so we're on vacation we're getting ready to go to dinner oh that's my partner's boxer whatever so we're getting ready to go to dinner and we're having a great time we turned off socials and everything for 24 hours so we're taking a break in that and i've been feeling great because i feel like i'm on off and we're not interrupted baby is not happy so yes, I've been having fun. I feel totally in my off energy. I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything, which is great because usually if I'm in Montreal, I'm like I need to work. I want to. I want to work. Like I have this addictive like. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love my work so much. I love my work so much. But here I'm able to be like, you know what? It's gonna wait because I have no energy to do that. I have energy to rest. So I'm taking advantage of that and I'm resting. And I'm staying on that side of end of the spectrum. So we need to get ready and go to dinner. We're gonna go to the beach, the pool. And yeah. Just like I'm answering here and there little bits of work, but I'm trying not to go and immerse myself too much into it. I'll show you guys a couple of clips and we'll probably um, yeah, what can I show you guys? It could be fun. Traveling with baby, we'll see. I'll show you guys in place. So we just exploded a brand new foundation on the floor. Oh, like, fuck. How did I do that? I'm so clumsy. One thing I'm thinking of that I want to keep working on. Did I even talk about that now? No, I did stories about it. Is how I want to keep working on making content. So it's interesting because I know what I like and I try to make it and it's hard but I know that I have to keep doing it. That's why I'm posting YouTube videos and I don't feel like they're where I want it to be, but over time, they're getting there and we'll get there more and more. But I gotta keep doing it, keep pushing myself and keep putting it out there so that it gets better and better. We'll keep trying. Hola. Hi guys, we spoke last night. We went to dinner after I exploded my foundation. Now we're sitting here. We just went to breakfast and coffee. I slept in with baby. Thank God he also slept in with me. I'm so lucky. I had a call that was booked for 10, but it got moved, and so because I have an opening, I'm gonna get done what I want to be doing after the call, and then I'll just be done earlier. But I don't know if any of you guys feel like that, but because I have like someone that, that needs the call, I'm like, yes, okay, I'm free, let's go play. But no, I need to be doing this work, so because I would have, I will have to do it anyways in the day, so I should just sit down and focus and do it now. But I do have that urge of like being rebellious and not doing it. I don't know if you guys have that. But now that I work for myself, it's like if I don't do it, then it's me that's penalizing myself. It's not like I'm not doing the work that somebody else asked of me. I'm not respecting my own word. And that's something that's the subject we should talk about in this vlog is that if you respect your own word and you you actually do what you're going to say to yourself, so not even your word to other people, your word to yourself, this is how you build confidence. And it's also how you destroy your confidence. So if you keep making promises to yourself, like, oh, I'll go work out, oh, I'm gonna do this project, oh, I'm gonna start this business, and you don't hold your own word, that is super detrimental to your confidence and you will completely shoot it down and you'll be looking always for external validation and not internal validation. And it's so important to know that and to focus on respecting your own word. It's so important. So now I'm gonna get to work and stop talking to this camera. Love you guys and we'll show you a couple clips today because I know I'm filming so I'll film some clips for you. Hi guys, it's Saturday and it's our last day. I was not good at filming, but my phone was dead the whole time, so I just did not film and was not on my phone. I have a couple of clips and pictures I'll share with you guys. So we are waiting to go check out because it's our last day, baby is sleeping, we're waiting, I'm waiting on everybody else to join us. It's been a great trip for baby, she's been great sleeping, she sleeps anywhere, he's sleeping right now in his stroller, 
He slept on the beach, he slept in some places, he's been so cute interacting with people, saying hello, waving to people, sending kisses, and everyone is so sweet to him here. And he's been eating everything here too. He ate fish, he ate pasta, spaghetti, rice, veggies, fruit. I gave him real milk from here once, that it was a mistake. He definitely did not pass that well at all. So yeah. Okay, so we're waiting to check out and uh, baby was not happy so I'm taking him for a walk. I'll show you the flowers here, the tree flowers or whatever, flower trees? I don't know, flower trees are so beautiful. And it's a beautiful day, I'm so glad I spent the day in nature, outside, in sunshine. It was a beautiful week. Traveling with baby was um, not as hard as I thought it would be. He was super chill and easy for everything. And she was sleeping in his, in his uh, pram when he needed to sitting at the beach and of course he stayed up later than usual but for me that's how we went through it okay so here are the trees so yeah that's how i oh like me and my partner plan to get through it is to be flexible with bedtime and routines and he did great like he ate well he sleeps well he's not uh, he's not too fussy some days he was because he stayed up a bit later the night before but in general if he was then he would just go to bed so we had a great time with baby it was really fun for the flight the flight here he slept an hour and a half and then he was up so i breastfed him get, we gave him his toys he would throw them around and he loved standing up and saying hi to at the whole plane like i feel like he thinks that they were all his friends like 300 people he's just standing and waving making friends and everyone loves baby so they were so cute with him so that's pretty much that for the trip with baby and yeah we had a great time relaxing got a bit of reading and not that much of course with the baby a bit of swimming and lots of good food here we ate a lot ate a lot rested a lot and now i'm ready to get back home and to reset i'm feeling like this type of um yearning to like modify some things so i'm gonna sit down when i get back and make sure i'm intentional with what i'm doing that i'm excited about life and that's it So we are back. Um, I think the last clips you guys saw were right before traveling. So the traveling, the flight went super well. Um, yeah, the flight went super well. Sorry, I'm getting messages for a, an event we have in Montreal very soon. We're having an event with Coach Sonia. So Sonia Zarbitani at La Tribe. It's going to be a networking business event, which is going to be so fun. I'm helping her out with minor things but i'm so grateful to even be a part of it it's, it's such an, uh, an amazing event i hope you guys show up and i will film a couple clips for you guys for youtube uh, behind the scenes so yes i was talking about the flight the flight went really well baby slept like the whole time but it, it was hard to put him down because he had slept on the car on the way to the airport was he sleeping yeah no he slept through the whole airport then at security i had to wake him up poor thing and then so he was cranky and then we waited to board. Once we boarded, he started acting crazy because obviously he was overtired and we cut his uh, nap because it's already late night. So he was already, it was like the, it was like past his bedtime. So he was already in his um, actual night sleep. So of course he was grumpy. He started being crazy. He, and my partner was like, is he drunk? <laughs> he was like all over the place, woohoo, saying hi to everyone. He's so funny. At least he doesn't like cry when he's fussy. He becomes just cray cray and like he whines a bit for sure. And, throws himself everywhere but he also waves at everyone he was kept tapping on the lady bus hi beside beside us that was sitting right beside us and i was like i'm so sorry but she, she was a mom so she understood so yeah he was a bit crazy and then he passed out and poor thing like he wanted to lay down like he kept lying down over me and my partner but the armrest would not go up where we were seating so i had to like hold my hand there and I already filmed this video before, but you can watch on my YouTube the fear of flying video. But um, I definitely started having panic attacks for the first time ever on a the third flight I had ever in my life, which was, was it my third flight? I don't know, it was like my, 
think it was like my fifth or sixth flight ever, which was from Puerto Plata in Dominican Republic to Montreal. And the one there and the one back, like that's when it started because that was the first flight I ever had after my car accident. And for me, I was not driving my car accident. So that was like being in an even bigger thing above, like in the air. I don't even know how many feet in the air and someone else is driving and I can't see the front was super triggering and there was a lot of um, turbulence coming back from Puerto Plata so this time around which is the second time ever me doing it again so I did this flight at 21 maybe and now I'm 27 I don't even know my age I'm 27 and I've done I've uh like done, going there was fine no turbulence not no seatbelt sign once um but coming back there was turbulence like not crazy, but enough to feel like, woo, like the, the the plane moving around and like shaking. It's just freaking me. Like, I feel like I'm a leaf in the air, in on a leaf in the air and I have no control. But um, yeah, definitely was triggered and had anxiety, but not as bad as the first times. And my partner is super supportive. So he was there for me. And if you watch my video for your flying, you'll see how I got there. And I definitely used tapping. So maybe people think I'm weird, but I karate chop. Um, let me show you. I use the karate chop, which is this here, and I tap and I say, even though I'm anxious right now flying, I love and accept myself, even though I have the heebie-jeebies, I kept saying that, I am I, flying right now, I love and accept myself, even though I'm scared of the turbulence right now, I love and accept myself, and I tap here, and it calms me down, because this is an acupressure point, there's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, when you do EFT tapping, um, but this one is like the one where people don't see me do it, and I don't feel as self-conscious as if i'm like tapping on the plane so i was doing that to calm down but definitely was triggering the baby was sleeping though so that's perfect and i was just trying to watch movies get through it then it's so exhausting to have anxiety anyone who has um, anxious feelings or like panic attacks or feels the anxiety it's so oh, it's so heavy you're like i passed out for maybe 30 minutes and i never sleep on flights but i was so drained from having anxiety that i literally passed out so that's pretty much it for the flight home and then we got home super late 3 a.m but i'm so grateful to be home now it's monday we bought, we are at families everyone went out for a walk and i'm working so i'm doing my new trick of writing on my to-do list and then i use a blank space and i write down the main tasks that i'm doing so i can focus and hunker down and do just that task so i just finished um Two of them now i'm waiting for a video to upload for my client a eft video that i'm sending her so that's uploading and i'm sending that and then we are going to my side of the family and i'll work again so i'm taking advantage of them being there because they can watch baby and i have to finish a couple of things from work because i was out for a week and i had spotty wi-fi so i cannot get back to my clients and do anything of that sort so i'm doing that now and it's a beautiful day i'm going to take advantage of that as well i hope so yes guys i will see you in the next clip <laughs>